that's our whakapapa that took us back to Tauranga. And then when we expanded, the same whakapapa drove us to grow our business. And so we expanded down into Tepoki, down into Kahununu here. We expanded up to Bay of Islands. So these are the four provinces we're in. In Gisborne, um, we've been, uh, we've invested in, in Persimmons, and now we're one of the biggest Persimmon growers in New Zealand, and into Mandarins as well. The Q Fred has always been our bread and butter. We've um, been well above industry average, and so that's enabled the trust to make these further investments into other areas of horticulture. We had actually maximised the use of the land that we had. We have approximately 46 hectares only, uh, and it was time for us to consider acquiring new property. In 2017, we were fortunate to actually acquire five orchards in total, and that became our new establishment of our kiwi fruit venture in Hiritanga. We've got approximately 120 hectares uh, across our apple and kiwi fruit operations. So this orchard, uh, sustainability is at the forefront of our thinking. Uh, we've got electric platforms with solar panel roofs. Uh, the concrete structures that are behind me are fully organic. There's no leaching of CCAs into the environment. Standing here on Korakipo Orchard, this orchard is 26 hectares and it's one of four kiwi fruit properties here in Hawke's Bay. In total we have 60 hectares. Of the 60, uh, 14 are now in conversion to organic production. Six of those 13 hectares will be certified organic this year. Unfortunately, a lot of our kiwi fruit was hit by the flooding. Right here where we're standing, the water was near my head height, but there was very little silt. Further down here, the orchards were flattened, and on other orchards, we had a lot of silt. During the time of turmoil between our visitors who came to this nation and us who were Tangata Whenua, we entered into a battle in Tauranga called Gate Pa. 2,000 soldiers, regular troops, attacked our pa of 137 Māori warriors. For eight hours, for a whole day, they used artillery fuel guns on our pa. The next morning, we gave them a hiding. So we won that day, but we actually lost the war. After that, we had all 122,000 hectares of our land taken. And we became a landless hapu. From there, we were left with a small piece of land called Matapi, 122 hectares of land for our whole entire hapu. We had what we had, and we got on with rebuilding ourselves. By 2030, uh, we'd like to have somewhere between 400 and 500 mil on um, our bank balance. Our uh, net assets have grown 167 million over the last 10 years. Uh, we had a capital investment of around $25.9 million uh, in 2022. More recently, in 2023, we have spent $34 million, and that was with our acquisition of our apple orchard here in Typhoid Road called Tiraupare, and with our two orchards in Gisborne. This year, pre-Gabriel, we were set to exceed 900,000 trays. Yeah, so we're pretty proud of that. And the, the people behind you there, our team, that made it happen. So we have a low vigour canopy, which means it's not as thick. For us, that produces uh, better flowers. You're probably wondering what dry matter is. It's what we use to measure the sugar contents within the fruit. That's linked directly to how much we get paid per fruit. The highlight has been the very large scale of their business at nearly at over two million trays of kiwi fruit. They have a long history of protecting their land from urbanisation. We were impressed with the pace of change um, in increasing both crop diversity uh, and geographic diversity. 
since they realised in 2017 the vulnerability of a single crop in the one region of Bay of Plenty. Another standout for us was the very high rates of employment of both a Māori and Wahini uh, within their permanent team in the business. Finally, all of the finalists within the competition have been impacted by Cyclone Gabriel. We were very impressed uh, with the resilience and humbled by Naitu Karangi's approach to the recovery. <laughs>